Hi everyone, it's great pleasure to address you at the 11th International Conference on Mathematical Modeling in Physical Sciences. I'm Dr. Mahendra Samaravikrama, Director of the Centre for Consciousness Studies in Australia and an honorary visiting scholar at the University of Technology, Sydney. Today I'm going to present my research paper titled Unifying Matter, Energy and Consciousness. Intuitively, we know that universe is tuned to be amazingly life-friendly. Based on physics, many natural constant exist throughout the universe where had they been even slightly different, sustaining intelligent life might not be possible. Because of that, many models have been evolving to explain reality and life in the universe. Some even assume mathematics, biology, chemistry, or even a supernatural force could be the fundamental law in the universe and life. However, in this research, we focused on the research idea that consciousness is actively participating in forming reality. In our research paper, we modeled consciousness as a fundamental law of nature and life. That model unifies consciousness with matter and energy and explains how consciousness adheres to determinism, realism and physicalism as a fundamental law of nature and reality. Our research suggests consciousness could be the reason which makes the universe and life as it is. Now let's see how we unify consciousness with matter and energy. We assume that irrespective of parallel processing in the brain on the five senses, Consciousness is sequential and focus on a single piece of information at a time. Therefore, consciousness is operating at a very high frequency which can sample and be aware of the brain and sensory information. Further, we assume that consciousness is electromagnetic and behave according to wave-particle duality as described in de Broglie's hypothesis. As per the Planck relation, E equal HF illustrates how energy is related to the frequency of the electromagnetic energy. Here, H is Planck's constant. Here we consider photons which don't have mass. We map the sequential process of awareness into the frequency of the Planck relation, which we call the frequency of consciousness. This way, the notion of time related to the frequency is not fundamental, but perceived from consciousness. A single cycle of the frequency in the Planck relation means the shortest time to be aware or conscious of the change of reality by an observer. Moreover, we assume that consciousness photons energy transform into particles conserving energy and momentum. We call those particles consciousness particles. In this way, we unified consciousness with matter and energy. Now let's understand consciousness from our model. From the theory of relativity, we know time dilates which means consciousness is also subjected to relativity and dilates. Therefore, shorter time observation of a moving observer related to a resting observer doesn't mean an advantage in information processing or awareness since consciousness is also slowed down. Consequently, Einstein's assumption that speed of the light is constant in all frames of reference regardless of their motion is a sensory as well as mental experience. Moreover, the frequency of consciousness relates to the state of awareness such that higher frequency means higher awareness and lower frequency means lower awareness. Our model illustrates that when consciousness frequency decreases, that is in a lower state of awareness, it creates consciousness particles having a lighter rest mass. On the other hand, when consciousness frequency increases, that is in a higher state of awareness, it creates consciousness particles having heavier rest mass. That is how consciousness interplay with matter and energy. Our model suggests consciousness can create energy, matter and realities beyond our sensory observation, which might help us to be aware and accept the existence of dark matter, dark energy and other complex constructs. Thank you everyone for participating in this presentation.